Hello folks, today we're going to repair a Logitech M705 mouse which has got uh, a dodgy left mouse button which has started double clicking and playing up. And the repair is not that difficult, it just means you have to be a little careful and use some sharp eyesight and a set of tools like a set of screwdrivers and a blade. So let's have a go. The first thing to do is to switch it off of course and remove the batteries. Once you've done that, the next task is to find the five holes for the screws which are holding the mouse together. So first off, let's just very gently take this pad off here, try making sure the sticky stays together, so that top pad. And then we'll find a number of screws in place, there should be five of them on this particular model. One, two, three, four, five. So we can just see that, remove that, right? Then it's just a matter of very gently now underneath the this part you'll see a little white, if you can see that, cable, which you just very gently again remove so you can get the top fully off. You don't want to break any wires, trust me. Right, there you go. And you place that part aside. I always have a quick look and see how much dirt I've got under under here at this stage. Because it's usually quite a lot of dust and guck. Right, the important part is this little black unit here. Can you see that? With little white switch unit on the top. To get this off, you have to, again, very carefully insert a blade or something very fine. Again, without trying to, with making sure you don't scratch the motherboard, the board. We have to just prise off one of those catches because the whole lid should come off of this switch. Oops, there we go. A bit, ah, there you go. Right. And can you see this? Is the light good enough? I hope so. Let's have a look. Just pull that lid off. Be careful of the white switch at the top because you're going to need that. Just take that off. There you go. Clips off. Clips off. It's hard to do with, with my clumsy fingers in the way, but. That's the, the actual cover. And there's the little white, can you see that? The little white switch. I need a macro on this, don't I really? Which you'll have to keep because that has to go back in. And right underneath you'll find this tiny copper spring which is where the click comes from and where it all goes a little bit wrong the two things to remember about this is, is to remember how it comes off when you take it off um, because that's the way you're going to want to put it back um, when you re start again the easiest way is to move it sideways out pull it sideways out again very carefully we're talking precision engineering here Ooh, you can say for my fingers and that's it that's come out now so I don't know if you can get a good look at that but you should see that the spring has been removed and here is the actual spring on my finger very tiny and what we're going to try and do is as it as you can see on the site on the um, the 
diagrams I'm going to try and make the copper bend a little so it's a little bit more acute because that's what gives the spring so the thing to remember about this little spring is it's very fragile so the idea is to use hey yeah, I've got a pair of tweezers here but to use very slight don't don't yank it or twist it too hard just do it very gently to get that bend back in place Lower on the side of caution if you can and also try and get the bend back in the center part which is again a part a crucial part of the click and also just flatten the spring out a little bit because again the whole the whole spring should be as kind of flat apart from that kink in the, at the end this is my first at uh, my third mouse repair and I'm still as careful as I was with the first one although the first one took me hours I've got a bit more used to it by now right I think we're there so now it's a matter of reassembling I can't can I show you that let me just hold that in the tweezers and see if you can see that you can't really it's too there you go just I've just oops I've just shaped it a bit where can I get to you to see it's been shaped you'll have to look at the diagrams to get the proper idea because it's very hard to do this live right so now it's time to for the reassembly and the spring basically goes obviously the same way it came out and you're going to assemble it so you're going to start at the front and hook it under the curved bit under the front part oops and then clip it Clip the spring can you see that click so that's when you know you've got it in properly so the the curved bit underneath is is clipped against this first bit the back of the spring is is caught under this uh, area here and the, this tricky one in, at the front here or at the back of the mouse if you're looking at the mouse front front to back the back actually clips on high up on that little um, what do you call it sort of um, carriage and then when it's when it's all in some kind of straight again I'm hoping you can see this and I apologize if you can't but you should see it with the diagrams on the post and you just click and that's it that's it in and working now we have to reassemble oh joy right so the first thing is to get the mouse switch itself the little white thing back into place and a little trick I think I, I learned about this one was you have to lick it or something I think in one of the comments somebody says if you lick it it go you can make it, it sounds pretty unhygienic but you can get it to go back in easier I have to go back and read the comments to get that exactly because otherwise it's going to be annoying just hold the little white button with that and there you go in you go now you go bingo button clicks almost as good as that one well not quite you can tell the spring is not 100% it's going 
losing a little bit of its tensile strength or whatever. Okay, then now just reassemble carefully. Screws. And there we go. Good as new. I hope so. The wheel is working fine. Yeah. Well, I've just um, gone off and tried it, and it works. I mean, it's a lot. Uh, the the click is definitely softer. But this is the second time I've repaired this. How to fix your Logitech M705? Thanks very much. As for as ever, if you like this, please favorite us and subscribe and. Pass it on, share it with your friends. Thanks very much.